Hello, hello. So Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your next 24 hours. So if this resonates for you, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the YT. But if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box. And if you guys want to book a personal with me, all the information should be in the description as well. All right, so let's get back in twine with the video, you guys, because I feel like I've been going backwards. <laughs> so this is going to be the next 24 hours for you. So let's see what the Holy Spirit has. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for Scorpio. What's the energy for Scorpio? What's the energy for Scorpio? Thank you. Next 24 hours for Scorpio. Scorpio. I feel like you're definitely in safety mode at the moment. You have a lot of things happening here where you feel like you have to protect yourself, okay? I feel like you feel guarded within some situations, like something doesn't feel right here. I feel like a lot of you could be having visions or dreams about the situation. Maybe you've been seeing an alligator in your dream or something like that. And this is just a sign that to watch your back, to be careful. I feel like this is a sign to just watch what's going on within your environment. It's time to set healthy boundaries as well within this energy. I feel like a lot of people have been trying to take advantage of you, trying to use you. This is what I'm seeing here. Why am I getting like this is not okay? It's like you are trying to accept what is within this energy. It's like you're a lot of you are trying to accept your environment and, and, and saying to yourself, well, this is what I can can do, this is what, you know, this is this is all I have, like this is what it is. There's no change, there's never gonna be any change. It's like you're adopting to this. You're trying to, it's like the situation or your environment is not going to change. So you're trying to be as comfortable as possible to consume this situation or consume this relationship. Okay. Holy Spirit. I feel like you're hanging from a thread. Why am I saying that? Oh. I'm just getting like you're hanging from a thread. Like at any minute, I just feel like you're at your, your ends of your rope. At any minute. Scorpio next 24. But I feel like you're trying to escape or to hide. Okay. But it's like I'm just feeling like safety is a must. Like you don't feel safe. Okay, Scorpio. You've been going through a lot. I'm seeing the Nine of Wands energy. I'm seeing the, the Six of Pentacles. Like you have lost a lot. There's also like this determination to be successful here. But you have been going through your trials and tribulations with this energy. You've been trying to protect this person as well, whoever this person is. It's like there's so many secrets that I'm hearing that you know. There is like you can destroy this person if you want because you are a Scorpio. You can destroy them, but you choose to protect them. And they have took a lot from you. There is no stability here. There's no balance here. Uh, the king the king of wands energy 
It's like you're trying to be... It's like I'm seeing that you have the power, like you have this power to escape this or to be successful. And you're trying to find your way out. You have the determination to do this. The lizard energy. It's like you're going to crawl your way out. Whatever this, whatever people throw at you. Tell me more. Within the next 20, I'm sorry, my stomach is growling. I need to eat. <laughs> y'all um i'm actually cleansing so you might hear my stomach growl a lot all right so we have the nine of swords energy here the knight of swords energy in reverse so someone is just not being real or loyal you can't trust this person a lot of you are not talking to this person in the next 24 or you haven't and this is going to be forward and over to the next 24 like there's still some kind of blockage here there was some kind of empty promises. This person is just not doing anything for you. This is what I'm seeing. The Eight of Cups is also coming up. Like there's a huge regret here. There was um, some form of energy that you left behind. Or this person walked away from you. They didn't give anything back to you. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing like a return. What is going on here? You blocked this person though. There's no commun communication. I don't feel like this person is someone that wanted a relationship with you. If this is love or if this is a friendship situation, this person was very like, you know, fake with you. I feel like this person was all about themselves kind of energy. I feel like, you know, if it's a work situation, you know, you couldn't trust this person as well. Again, all about themselves. I'm very curious. I feel like this person is, no, they know a lot of things about other people, but they don't want you to know much about them. It's like I'm getting this vibe like you know you can't trust this person. Like you just know. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. The next 24. The Seven of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Swords. Oh my God. You have the Two of um, Cups here. So you guys are in separation for those of you or this could be a soulmate situation. Again, soulmate situation doesn't have to be um, intimate. This could just be a relationship that, you know, once you guys were friends, you knew each other from such a long time ago and you build a friendship and now you guys are not seeing eye to eye. There's some kind of like, you know, conflict going on between you and this person and it's taking everything that you have within you to actually block this person because you care about them. There's no conversation here. There's no communication here. So this is a no contact. I'm not getting any kind of like energy that is coming up for you and this person. I'm going to dive into a no contact energy later on today, but we'll see because I'm just feel like this person is just not communicating with you. All right. The seven of cups is also letting me know that there was some kind of shadiness going on here, whether this is love or friendship situation. If this is love, this person cheated on you with many other partners or many other options. Or if this is a friendship situation, this person was very shady. This person talked to you about uh, talked about you, just like how they talk to you about other people, because within this night of swords, this person was very like talkative. You know, you can't trust this person with your business. <laughs> this is what I'm getting here. So this person had many different options. Look at that. We're in a mask. I can't get over this mask face. Okay. With you, with it. You just didn't know who this person is. This person was being fake. Untrue. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. You have the Page of Swords energy, the Page of Cups in reverse. You have the Five of Cups. You did everything that you could. Everything that you could within this person's energy. Everything to help this person, for to be with this person. I feel like there's just a huge like shock here. Um, huge disappointment. Like, oh my God. A lot of you fell to your knees within the Five of uh, Cups energy. Couldn't believe that this person betrayed you this way and also you know it's just like i'm seeing people try to pick you up or people try to you know be there for you people that you don't even know a lot of you could have a breakdown a mental breakdown not too long ago because of this energy 
there's no apology here and this person is like so like celebrated what in the page of swords very immature by the way very immature celebrated very curious to only hear what's going on and what people are saying about them they're very cold all they do is want to have fun it's you know nothing serious and this is why you block this person because you realize that this person was actually for the streets all right we have the queen of cups energy we have the two of pentacles we have the two of swords you know you want to be very respectful to this person you know you don't want their business to be out in public you definitely are waiting for some form of information so you can make a difficult decision here you care about this person very very much this is what I'm seeing but they have been juggling you they have been juggling you and then you have the Queen of Cups here you have so much love that you want to give to this person but you just can't you're holding this back you don't feel the same for this person anymore you don't want a relationship with this person anymore because this person played you okay you have the two of pentacles the seven of cups all in reverse this person is so a player so a player tell me more holy spirit wow but they love you in their own little way somebody loves somebody okay because i'm getting an energy like someone is holding back their love and this could also be uh, be a contract for me as well because there's similar energy here. We have the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. One is in the upright, one is in the, the reverse. So place where you are. If you don't want to be with this person, you're holding back your energy. If you want to be with this person, this is you, you know, or vice versa, cross watcher. Okay, there he is. So because there's some kind of like similarities going on here between you and this person you could be dealing with another scorpio perhaps or another water placement i feel like they're trying to better themselves and this could be you also because you seem like you're waiting like you're sitting down waiting so you could be wanting to be with this person or this person wanting to be with you i'm just getting really okay let me just tap into this person's energy and just clarify all of that because, you know, let's just tap into this person's energy real quick. Because why not, right? Why not? Okay. Let's see. For those of you who want to know what deck this is, because I just want to make sure I include that. If I could find it. Okay. So, because I know I'm going to get some messages. So, these are the decks that I'm using today. Okay, I got these off of Amazon, all right? Ooh, sorry. All right, so these are the two that I'm using. Um, and then for this deck, I'm using this one, okay? I hope you guys can see it. So, because I know I always get questions. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I like these because they're a good size because my hands are big and I told you guys about that. I hate small average tarot decks. I love large size, good size decks. At least a, at least a three by five, right? That's what I like. Oops, sorry. All right, so tell me about this person's energy when it comes to Scorpio within the next 24. Just um, a swatch, please, for this person's energy for Scorpio. How they feel and what's going on with this person's energy. The Four of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me more. So they're juggling for sure. Going back and forth here. They they need to make a decision. They they will. And I feel like they're coming back to you. They're coming back to talk to you within the hangman even though it's 
the hangman energy but it's in the upright so they are going to make their way towards you can you tell me why within the hangman please holy spirit i feel like this person wants to start over there was kind of some kind of separation for those of you some kind of falling apart with this ace of pentacles but i also feel like within the wheel of fortune they're guided back to you like they feel like they're faded to you tell me more why is this person coming back so they want to fix the up look at that i wanted to know what you can't make this stuff up you guys um and this is another deck by the way this person is coming back to fix the situation with you with this uh conversation like this conflict that you guys have going back and forth this could also be with other people as well that are involved here they're coming back because they are putting their heart out there so you don't want to be with them they want to be with you okay and there is no investment so they still can't give you this the stability that you want right which is a future i feel like this person had someone else this person was going through a transition with someone else this is what I'm feeling because they're starting, they're giving you the four pentacles and the four pentacles for me indicates that there's something going on with this person's life. But it's like they're going through a transition and they feel like this is the right situation for them under the wheel of fortune. Like they're moving in the right path. They need to make a decision even though the two of pentacles showed up in the upright for them there's still this judgment situation here so this could also mean karmic vibes for them or karmic balance or the skills needs to be balanced out because the wheel of fortune is here so the wheel needs to be turned you know balance needs to be balanced back out here yin yang energy everything needs to be back the way it is you know um but the angels even though they need to make why am I feeling like this person is like, I can do this. I can go back and forth here. Like I'm doing, I'm already doing an excellent job. I don't need to change anything about this. But the angels was like, no, 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 no. There is, this needs to be dealt with. Like, I just feel like this person needs to learn or see things in your light. And I feel like this is why they're taking so long to get back to you because they're learning something. Okay. They are going to make their way back. And I feel like this is, even though they don't want to apologize, they're gonna have to put their tail between their legs and you know go towards you and try to fix this this is what they want to do but at the same time i'm not seeing any investment so be aware of this energy in the next 24 hours you guys i just wanted to be clear to see who was who here because i was like what all right, but this is what I have for you for the next 24. Scorpio, I hope that this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.